Hey folks, Tech Universe here. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, but stick around because today we're going to be talking about some pretty interesting stuff I don't think you're going to want to miss. Hi folks and welcome Technivorce here. This is the newly improved Kira 4.12 in the full release version. It's no longer in beta and we have some new features for you to look at today. So one of the first things I want to point out is the lightning infill option. Now this prints very very sparsely at the bottom and gets denser as you go up. Kind of like a tree support is an infill. So it's a pretty interesting pattern and should save you a little bit of plastic and a lot of time. So definitely something that I'm going to enjoy playing around with this. And there are a couple other new things in here they talk about as well, including the app switcher, which has mostly to do with Ultimaker machines. And the uh, load time is now a lot quicker as well. So I went over that in my beta video. A lot of people were giving me crap about the fact that it took so long to load here on my machine, but you got to remember that there are two different cameras, a screen recorder and editing software running in the background as well. So yeah, I definitely need to update a few things on the old PC here, but it does load quite a bit faster when I'm not running all this extra crap. But it is nice that the time has been shaved down significantly. Even on my slowed down machine here, it's cutting about half, so that's great. Um, that's basically it for the new additions to Kira. Nothing spectacular or uh, amazingly new. That lightning infill is definitely worth playing around with. It's been a long time since they got a new infill pattern. But we're just going to leave it at that. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. We'll put the link down below if you'd like to see more. I have plenty of Kira videos. You can check out my beta video for a more in-depth look. And I'll put a card up for that in the corner. As well as my Kira questions playlist. I have a whole playlist where I answer your Kira questions. And I'm happy to do that. So if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. And I will take care of you. There is another playlist around here as well. That is Kira settings in five minutes or less where I go over each of these settings individually and tell you what they interact with as far as other settings, what they do, and how they work. So if you're curious about that, I'll put that up in the corner as well. should pop up around the mouse cursor here. And I will see you in the next one. Tagnivorous out. Stick around, guys. I got another YouTube recommended video for you right here. And if you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure that you smash that like button. We'll see you in the next one. Technivorous out.